As we've discussed before, host cell proteins, or HCPs, can negatively affect the stability, safety, and efficacy of protein therapeutics produced in cell cultures. Therefore, we use broadly reactive and well-qualified HCP ELISA kits to ensure purity of final drug products as well as overall purification process consistency. Regulatory guidelines and publications commonly refer to two different types of HCP ELISA, generic and process-specific. These sources define generic assays as assays that measure HCPs for an expression platform. Generic assays use an antigen derived from cells of a representative strain of the species for animal immunizations. They assume a large majority of proteins will be conserved across strains of the same species, and the final antibody developed is intended to detect HCPs independent of the growth and purification processes. On the other hand, a process-specific assay is designed for a specific strain of host cells using a specific cell culture process. They're usually used for drug production in later stage projects with a locked process. At Cygnus, we want to highlight the fact that an assay, regardless of the terminology used to define it, should be comprehensively qualified to show its fit for HCP detection. First, we must show that HCP antibodies react to a broad range of HCPs, including those that are low abundance and low immunogenic. Second, it is necessary to demonstrate that the assay meets specificity, accuracy, precision, and sensitivity requirements. Let's illustrate what this process looks like. The first step is antibody development. Critical factors to consider include antigen selection, immunogen prep, immunization methods, and antibody affinity purification. Next, determine antibody coverage with AAE followed by 2D page or mass spectrometry, MS. Reactive HCPs can be identified by MS. Likewise, identity of non-reactive HCPs can be confirmed by MS. If AAE does determine adequate coverage, perform a dilution linearity test. If the assay has poor dilution linearity, look for individual HCPs that might have been enriched during the purification process. Poor dilution linearity doesn't mean a new assay is needed, but rather improvements to the downstream process may be needed to reduce those HCPs. Use AAE-MS to identify those HCPs. If the dilution linearity is good, perform spike recovery, precision, and sensitivity studies to complete assay qualification. Look for high-risk HCPs in the final drug substance using AAE-MS to ensure they are detected by the assay. If all qualification steps are successful, congratulations! The immunoassay is fit for process monitoring and product lot release. This decision tree is useful for developing and qualifying either generic or process-specific assays. It shows how to integrate orthogonal AAE and MS methods to enable a data-driven decision on whether to use a generic or process-specific HCP assay. In fact, when a generic assay is held up to comprehensive qualification across multiple processes, companies are in a better position to make a data-driven decision on whether to keep using the generic assay or develop a process-specific assay. Have questions or want to learn more? Visit our services page and or speak to an expert.